Hi, my name is Pam Denny. I'm an analytics architect with the IBM Maximo development team. And as we continue our series on the Maximo 761 Cognos Analytics integration, today we're going to talk about data sources and specifically packages. So first, whenever we want to create new content in Cognos, whether it's a dashboard or a report, we always have to start by selecting a data source. And with Cognos Analytics, we have four choices. We can use a package, a data server, a file, or a data module. The last three, data server files and data modules, are new with Cognos Analytics. The method of using a package has always been the traditional method of creating content with Maximo and Cognos. So packages can be created in two different ways. First, I could open up Cognos Framework Manager and manually locate my Maximo database objects, join them together and create my model and publish it as a package. Or the second way is I can capitalize on Maximo's integration framework or MIF to dynamically create those Cognos packages for me. And that's what I'm going to highlight and demonstrate today, creating a package within Maximo. So to describe what is happening here is we call it the package publishing process. And the top level integration is shown here. On the far left, I have my Maximo server. And on the far right, I have my Cognos Analytics server. And I'm basically going to use the MIF, Maximo's integration framework, for my metadata publishing or my package publishing from Maximo to Cognos. If we look at this in a little bit more detail, what we're actually doing within the MIF is using a Maximo report object structures. We often call these ROS standing report object structures. An object structure at a top level is a collection of database objects that we join together via Max relationships. And in this case, I'm showing an example of a work order, parent object, asset and job plan child objects, which are joined together. And that collection, collection of database objects is then published as my Cognos package through the integration framework. We actually transform the content and publish a Cognos CPF file that can then be opened up directly in Cognos Framework Manager, or your users can directly begin utilizing that content as their data source for their reports and dashboards. So let me show you how this occurs. I'm going to come over here to Maximo, and I have brought up a report object structure. You can see that I'm in the object structure application. It's consumed with reporting. And I have a very simple one here where I have two objects joined together, invoice and invoice line. If I navigate to the menu, you'll see I can publish it a Cognos package. If I select that action, it's going to take the definition of my two database objects, invoice and invoice line, how they're joined together, and the specific attributes that I want to publish to Cognos, and those attributes that I believe my users may want to utilize within a report, and it will then transform those again as a pu published package. It's very important to note that when you do this process, we ask that you start with a very simple model to prove out your process. And then as you go into more complicated models, imagine the work order, report object structure with many tables, it's going to take a little bit longer. So it gives me a message that it has been published. And now if I want to access that content, I'm just going to come here from the menu again to highlight the many different ways you can access Cognos Analytics. I'm going to go to my Cognos BI server. Now I know that I have my content um, in my public folder. And I'm going to find my invoice details, which is right here. This is what I published, my invoice demo. And if I want to say I want to create a report here, and I'm just going to quickly um, just select any content because my main purpose here is to show you the content that I've brought over. So he's loading my package. 
and here's my uh, view of my invoice and invoice line table and now I can see all the attributes. So again, you can see very quickly, here I was in the integration object structure application. I had my demo report object structure. Those two tables that I had pre-joined are now available for my users to create content from invoice and invoice line. It's a really nice way for you to create your content in Maximo with your joining of all your specific objects and attributes and then publish it quickly to Cognos for your users to start beginning that content. So that is our demo today where we looked at our content and then as we move forward our next demo we're going to start to look at the data server. So thank you very much for your time.